Hello, and welcome to NextStar's video series on the Salesforce Developer Workbooks. In this track, we'll be walking you through the Visual Force Workbook. This video covers Tutorial 6, Overriding and Pointing to Pages. Using Visual Force, you can override pretty much any aspect of the user interface, such as the buttons, tabs, or links. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to use Visual Force pages that we've already created to replace the standard Salesforce behavior. To begin this tutorial, we're going to take the Visual Force page we created back in Tutorial 4, the Account Display page, and we're going to use it to override the standard view for accounts. So how we do that is we go into Setup, into Customize, Accounts, Buttons, Links, and Actions. Now we're going to go ahead and click edit under the view item and under override with we're going to select visual force page and then select our account display page and click save. Now what that has done is that has allowed us to take our custom visual force page and replace the default account view with our page. We can see this if we go to accounts, we pick an account. And there's our custom page. This is actually showing what we did in the last tutorial. So we can go ahead and reverse that. Let's go back to setup, customize, accounts, buttons, links, and actions. We're going to go ahead and default that back. And that's how you can override the default behavior for various functions associated with different object types. Another way you can get your custom Visual Force page to display is to embed it in the standard layout of another page. How we do that is under Customize, Accounts, go to Page Layouts, and we're going to select Edit on the Account Layout. Now this allows us to edit any part of the standard account page layout. And so what we're going to do is from the layout editor, we pick Visual Force Pages, and we see our page listed here because it utilizes the account standard controller. So we're going to go ahead and drag our page in here under account information and go ahead and click save. Now that we've embedded our page, we'll go back and look at an account with the Burlington Textiles Corporation. And right here in this page block, we've got our Visual Force page listing the account contacts. We can go and look at this for any given account. Let's go pick another one. Try Express Logistics. And there we go, there's our Visual Force page again showing two contacts this time. Now, another way we can incorporate our Visual Force page into our force.com environment would be to create a button that links to the page. How we create customized buttons is again from Setup, Customize. Accounts, Buttons, Links, and Actions. We're going to click on New Button or Link. Just going to call this My Button. Do My Underscore Button for the name. Under Display Type, make sure that Detail Page Button is selected. Content source, we want to select Visual Force page and then make sure our account display page is selected and go ahead and click save. Now, that warning let us know that we have to actually add it to a layout so that it's visible. And so, what we're going to do is we'll go back and edit the default page layout for an account. Go ahead and 
it. Let's remove our embedded page we added previously. And add our new button in its place. Go ahead and click Save. Now let's browse back to one of the account pages. Let's go back to Express Logistics. And now we've got our custom button. We click on. We've got our custom page, our account display page. So that's how you create custom buttons and add them to the page layout. Lastly, I'm going to demonstrate how to create basic text hyperlinks to incorporate your custom Visual Force pages. This is done using the output link element in Visual Force. I'm going to say Apex output link and just to show you how the output link works we're going to set this to a static page like www.google.com go ahead and save that now we've got a link that should take us straight to Google just like that now if we wanted to make this a link to our custom page would do that like this. Output link. Set the value of our output link to page count display. Now that'll automatically generate the link to our account display page. Go ahead and save that. Oops, I didn't put any text in there. Go ahead and save that again. Now this should just bring us right back to where we were. There you go. Now this page object is very useful. It's going to have a field for every custom page created. So you can use that to easily reference your custom Visual Force pages and link them together with other assets. That's going to just about do it for this tutorial. In our next video, we'll cover tutorial 7, customizing user interface components. Thank you for joining us. For more great content, click to follow us on Google+. Thank you.